Yo, hey, what's up, my beautiful people? So we haven't talked in a while, but I'm here to talk with you guys. You know, let's uh, catch up. What have you guys been up to? What have I been up to? I just got back from Japan about a month ago, and I just wanted to talk about the clubs. Now, while in Japan, you know, I was studying, but I also like, like on the weekends, I like to go to downtown, the nightlife, drink, eat ramen, drink some more, meet some friends, and just go on adventures so sometimes i like to go to the club i don't usually go to the club because it's expensive but sometimes i do like to go and one thing that i wanted to know about japanese clubs is japan as a culture like you don't really see dancing in their culture you know people tend to get shy when it comes to dancing now when it comes to karaoke people sing their hearts out you know everybody's doing karaoke over there when it comes to dancing you know people get shy i grew up in mexican culture so i love to dance so I went to the club and I was kind of curious, you know, like how is a Japanese club like? I showed up and yeah, there's some people dancing, but mainly it's just like people, you know, putting their hands up like that, you know, like not really busting out any moves. Like you do get the occasional person who dances, you know, bust out some cool moves, but normally you don't really see people like, like, you know, like, I guess like dancing with each other is mostly like just like um, from what I've seen, you know. Anyway, I just want to talk about the clubs in Japan and some of my experiences and some things that I saw that was just kind of like, uh, okay, what's up with that? So one thing that I guess uh, happened recently, like before I came back to the States, I went to a small club. It was a small club. The dance floor wasn't that big. I love to dance, but the dance floor wasn't that big. So I showed up, you know, people are talking, you know, having a good time, whatever. Some people are dancing on the dance floor, but it's really cramped. So, you know, people are just kind of like close with each other trying to dance. And then there's one guy, there's one guy, uh, okay. He kind of got to me, but whatever, whatever. Okay, so there's one guy, he's not Japanese. He he was probably American or Australian. I don't know, but he was obviously not Japanese. So this guy, really tall dude, he goes to the dance floor. This really small dance floor, cramped. He goes to the dance floor, right in the middle, and he goes up to the stage, kind of like um, people are trying to like listen to the music, you know? So he's in the middle, up in the front, in the very front. He turns around, and I thought this guy was gonna bust a move or something, but he just turns around, and he just kind of leans on the stage. He just kind of like looks at everybody. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't dance. He's not trying to dance with anybody. And then he busts out his phone and starts like scrolling through Instagram or something. He's on his phone right there, you know. Small dance floor, really cramped. This guy goes in the center, up to the front, and starts getting on his phone, man. Just taking up space. He's not even like this, like, you know, trying to like, um, not getting people's like personal space. No, this guy's just like this, like for like a solid 20 minutes, man. That's all he's doing. And I'm over here like my guy, like I'm in the back. I'm trying to dance over here, it's cramped. And this guy's just standing there in the dance floor. Like if you're gonna stand there and scroll on your phone, go find a wall or something. Like don't be taking up the dance floor, man. Cause like, I don't know, man, that, that really got to me. Like I was kind of like, you know, somebody like, I want to get out there and dance, but then there's people like this taking up space. So I was like, come on, man, come on, my guy, what are you doing? So anyway, um, some girls that he came with to the club did try to get him to dance. So the girls were like, hey, come on, let's go dance. Homeboy just looks up at them, gets back on his phone. I'm like, dude, come on, dude. Like, like, like I said, if you want to get on your phone, right, cool. Go sit down, go up against the wall, whatever, go to the bar. But just like taking up the dance floor and like pulling that crap is like, knock it. Get out of here, my guy, get out of here. So anyway, that kind of irked me, but whatever, that's something that I saw. Didn't really like it. He probably thought he was the coolest guy there because, you know, he's a foreigner in a Japanese club. But no, I think it was just like, just getting in people's ways. People trying to have fun, you know what I'm saying? All right, so another thing that I saw at the club, I went to another club, I mean, there's a lot of clubs. So there was another club I went to, you know, me and my brother went together and we were just having drinks. We weren't really dancing, you know, because we've been dancing all night. So we were just chilling, having drinks. It was already like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. People were going home and then my brother, notices something and he points it out and I look back and pretty much what happened was there was these two girls standing together you know having their drink they were talking and some Japanese guy goes up to them he tries talking to them doing work I don't know what he said he was probably saying like yo what's your name what's your number let's go dance blah 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 whatever guys do to pick up girls right so the girls refused him saying like nah we're good um, we're about to head home or whatever like we only saw what was going on like he obviously got refused homeboy he turns around Around and he walk, he turns around for two seconds, he looks back at them, and then he starts punching the wall right between them. Here's one, girl number one, girl number two up against the wall. He turns around and starts punching the wall. He's not hitting them, but he's punching the wall like very aggressively, like just pissed. The girls look very, very uncomfortable, man. Like so uncomfortable. Me and my brother, we were kind of thinking like, we should go in there, you know, kind of like say something like, you like, hey dude, you gotta calm down. Like, we don't know what the fuck you're doing, but you gotta calm down. Like, cause like the, the security, they weren't seeing anything. But I mean, he did that and they just 
turned around and walked away. And the girls look so uncomfortable, man. Like, it's like, why would you even do that, man? That's just, that's just too weird, creepy. Like, like, you're scaring some girls, like, for no damn reason. Like, yo, all right, they turn you down, get over it, move on, you know? I don't know, man. I don't like seeing that, that stuff go down. But yeah, we saw that, didn't like it, but it happens, man. That's the club, you know? Scary shit like that happens, even, even in countries like Japan, safest country in the world, well, one of the safest countries in the world, you know? Shit like that still does happen. All right, another one. This was a different day. This was a completely different day. Um, you know, it was at the club, whatever, having a beer and some girls two girls went to go to the bathroom and one of them was waiting for her friend outside the bathroom so her friend goes outside and she's waiting for her friend gets on her phone whatever and some Japanese guy who just came out of the bathroom he walks out he sees her and he's just like he's walking he's walking he doesn't stop and talk to her or anything he's just walking walking and then he puts his hand on her face and like slowly rubs him and just like you know, like very, very slowly like that. Obviously, she's uncomfortable and homeboy just keeps walking. That's all he does. He's walking, he sees her, and then keeps on walking. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, all right, um, why do you think that would work? Like, what are you trying to get out of that, you know? Like, there's no way that strategy would work unless, like, the girl, unless like, you're, like, a really, like, good-looking guy and the girl's, like, a little hoe or something. Then maybe that would work, but come on, man. Like, you just creeped her out, scared her. That's all he did. Like, I, I saw it go down. Just walks out. Whoosh. Doesn't say anything, keeps walking. Really creepy stuff, man, really creepy. I don't understand how guys even think that they, uh, they're they gonna get like any game with that, you know, like, come on, come on, you could do better than that, you know, try having a conversation, you know? Other things, the club, Japanese club, that I don't like is how, if you're with a girl, whether it be a friend, your girlfriend, whatever, if your girl is out there dancing and having fun, you know, like I told you, like, you don't really see, when you go to the club, um, a lot of people don't really go out there and start dancing, they just kinda like that. But if a girl's actually out there, you know, having fun, dancing, you know, shaking her booty a little bit, um, guys are gonna go up to her and like try and you know grab her or whatever that's normal you know guys are always gonna go up to girls and grab them it's a club whatever but I'm saying like me I've been there with friends female friends you know like I go because I want to dance so I invite friends you know and like me and a female friend will go out to the dance floor and we'll start dancing you know me and her one-on-one -on -one. now normally dudes should have respect like all right this dude is already with this one girl I'm not gonna go in there like while they're dancing and try and cock block or anything like come on like this that's a dick move all right but it happened to me so many in times man it happened to me so many times like i'd be there with my home girl you know try and dance or whatever some japanese dude would try and come in like it'd be like a japanese girl he'd come in with this japanese you know like start talking to her in japanese like trying to flirt with her and you know, trying to pick her up like hey i'm japanese you're japanese we can conversate this guy's obviously foreigner he doesn't know no japanese but then after like conversating for a bit like my home girl said like oh this guy knows some japanese so homeboy over here starts talking to me like in very very fast japanese like, he's trying to test me put me down you know he pretty much said like oh yeah you can speak japanese where are you from you know and, like I told him like I'm from the States, you know, back in Japanese, you know. So me and him start kind of like conversating in Japanese. I guess at that point he kind of realized like, all right, <laughs> this guy knows some Japanese. It's going to be kind of hard to like, I guess, kind of like get an edge. So he kind of backed off after that, like kind of like after he saw like, okay, I don't have an edge here. My Japanese sucks, by the way. I just got lucky by the words he said. Like the words he said were words I already knew. So I got lucky on that, but my Japanese is horrible, guys. Um, but anyway, like guys like that who are just trying to like, you know, interfere or like try and take other people's like your dance partner, you know, like while we're dancing, like, come on. Now, why are you gonna be like that? You know, why are you gonna be like that? Before I came back to the States um, this past month, I went with some friends again and I asked one of my female friends, like, yo, let's go dance together. So we're dancing, you know, she's having a good time. They're playing some reggaeton, reggaeton is some Spanish hip hop, you know, so we're kind of like dancing together, but we're also dancing separately. So we dance together, then we dance separately. I'll do like my own moves, you know, I'll shake my butt a little bit, then we'll dance together again. She was the only girl on the dance floor. My other female friends were kind of like, you know, just talking and drinking, but she was the only girl on the dance floor. And then there was like 10 guys. So 10 guys and one girl and me and her were obviously dancing together, right? <laughs> so what does one of the guys do? What does he do? So one of these guys, I don't know if he was Japanese. I think he was Japanese. But anyway, he goes up to me and my home girl and he puts his arms around both of us and starts going like, yeah, let's dance. Woo. And then he like cuts himself in between us and kind of pushes me back. So he's facing her and I'm kind of like behind him. All right, dick move my guy. But me back in high school, you know, I was learning how to do some hip hop dancing, some break dancing. I suck at it, but I can still bust a move compared to people who don't know how to dance so you know he pushes me back and me i do like a little spin you know a little twirl and i glide in there and then i push him back it was pretty smooth man in my opinion so yeah homeboy goes in here like you know he pushes me back and i do a little spin 
pushed him back. And when I did that, dude just gave up. He just looked at me. He just walked away. He just laughed. So those are some things that I didn't like when I went to the Japanese clubs. And it's things that people do in general when you go to the clubs, you know. You got guys trying to steal girls from other guys. Like kind of a dick move. Guys going up to girls and just touching them, grabbing them. And not even putting out a conversation or anything. And also foreigners. Guys who go to Japan and think they are the coolest guy there because they are foreigner. So they decide they're going to go stand on the dance floor in the middle of it and just take up all the space trying to look cool yeah fuck those guys dude and what else do i have to say about the japanese clubs i do have a lot of other stories if you guys do want to hear about them you know let me know so i'll leave it with that note let me know what you think of this video it's just me complaining about my club experiences in japan overall i do like having fun there but i also do see like creepy weird shit going down and um that's how it is man let me know what you think of this video drop a comment drop a like whatever if you hate this video drop like this like i don't care leave a comment and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one right peace out